so I don't have slides, uh, so uh, I'll just spend a few minutes kind of, um, this is our first multi-tenancy con, uh, so I'll kind of introduce myself and talk a little bit about, um, you know, what we have planned for the, um, for the rest of the day. And then uh, I'll kind of lay out the challenges as we see it. And then we'll have a few questions. Maybe we'll just get some people to raise their hands if, if uh, you know, based on the questions. And then I'll hand over to a bunch of speakers uh, after me who actually have pretty interesting content. Um, so I'm Mohan Atreya. I lead products and solutions at a company called Rafia Systems. Um, we've been kind of playing around with Kubernetes uh, for six years now. Um, and uh, uh, this is our fifth KubeCon. Uh, including the ones in, in, in Europe. Uh, so we kind of went through the whole thing during COVID and somehow made it to the KubeCons at the worst of times. Um, this is the first multi-tenancy con uh, event. Uh, before this, we had another event called SecurityCon, um, which uh, we also uh, presented at. Um, so first of all, it's my privilege to be here. Thank you for finding time uh, uh, to kind of come in. I assume the topic is of interest. That's why you're here. Um, so today, I'll talk a little bit, and then we have some presenters from Octopus Deploy, from WeWorks, New York Times. I'm really interested in seeing their, their case study, what they've learned as users. We also have folks from Sysdig, uh, representing Falco, Tetrate, Loft Labs, and then there'll also be a panel session where we'll have folks from AWS, um, I'll be on it as well, and then uh, folks from Nirmata, and we'll kind of just share our stories, what we've seen our customers do and all of that. So that'll be an interesting conversation, and I'm sure you can ask questions there. Right? Um, so outside that structure, let me, let me kind of lay out what we think of as multi-tenancy. Right? It's, a, it's a complex problem. Most of you here, uh, when I say multi-tenancy, you're probably thinking that the problem is limited to Kubernetes. Uh, but the problem actually goes beyond that, right? Um, because Kubernetes, for most of you, is probably something that lives alongside a bunch of other things in your infrastructure, right? Uh, your applications are gonna not just run in Kubernetes, but it'll be using other things. So when you think of multi-tenancy, my, my recommendation to you is think a little broader than Kubernetes. Uh, a lot of the patterns are well understood. Like, most of you probably have been thinking about, should I be doing a cluster as a service? a namespace as a service. And uh, I'll do a quick poll in a few minutes about the kind of role you are in. Um, actually, let's do that now. H how many of you here would categorize yourself as part of a platform organization? Yeah, just have a quick show of hands. Okay. And how many of you, oh, this is maybe 50%. How many of you call yourself like an SRE type uh, uh, role? Um, okay. And uh, the loaded question, which I get different answers depending on questions. How many of you would see yourself as a DevOps, not SRE, not platform? Okay, okay. So uh, heavily skewed towards platform themes and SREs, which is kind of what I expect out of KubeCon, right? Uh, the event is tailored for folks like us. This is great. Um, uh, last question. Uh, when you hear about multi-tenancy, I assume you're not talking one cluster. Um, how many of you here handle clusters at scale? What I mean by that is either you have enormous clusters or a lot of clusters in your company. Uh, just, just a quick show of hands. I don't need a number. Um, okay, perfect. Yeah. So some of the things I'm going to talk about uh, and introduce and things you'll hear in the other sessions will, will kind of touch on these. Uh, five, six years ago, I think people were messing around with a few clusters, right? Like uh, very early days for Kubernetes for most people, and uh, applications were not there yet. Um, so multi-tenancy has kind of grown in scope along the way, right? Uh, in the good old days, uh, you could do cluster as a service or a namespace as a service, problem solved, move on. But now it's very common for organizations to have 100 clusters, 200 clusters. We hear thousands in some cases, right? In the, at least the customers we speak with. Um, handling this organizationally at scale is a painful challenge, right? Um, and I don't even want to talk about upgrades of these clusters. I mean, it'll give you all a headache, right? Um, how do you do RBAC for developer access on all of these? 
another nightmare. So we'll have like interesting topics and challenges. I was talking to a person here, she's talking about how do I make sure my clusters are set up with the right components um, so that they're standardized. I think that's kind of what you're talking about. That's a challenge when you have hundreds of them. Uh, we're talking about issues that plague multi-tenancy, right? Um, so in a nutshell, the topics you're gonna hear today about are, I guess, battle stories, what people have kind of done, and they'll share the learnings, so you can kind of build on their learnings and not make the same mistakes again. You'll probably hear some interesting concepts about, about things you probably didn't even think about um, when, you, when you deal with multi-tenancy. Because it's shared infrastructure, so uh, complexities can be uh, galore, right? So you'll talk about that. And then the panel, I think, is going to be a free-for-all in the sense we'll have some questions that we'll tackle on in the beginning, but we really are looking for engagement from all of you, right? Like, if you have hairy questions um, that you can't hold back, uh, do ask. And uh, uh, we want that to be interactive and uh, uh, Hopefully, you guys will stay for the whole half day. And uh, we'll be around at the back. Um, if you have any suggestions and feedback on how we should improve this going forward, at the end of today's session, um, you know, as we close out the thing, we'd love to get your feedback. Um, Want to make sure the next time we do this, um, you know, we, we work with CNCF to improve the quality of content, to tune it to what you folks are looking for. Right? That's the high-level plan for today. I'm going to hand it over to Bob. I think Bob's the next speaker. Um, you get eight extra minutes.